Hi, this is Coach P. Jim Pusateri, and you're listening to the Good Morning Minute of Inspiration Podcast. Hey, each day we bring you this short inspirational message to kick off your morning and to put you in that positive attitude that's needed to succeed and to win the day. Yes, we want you to win the day out there. Well, good morning, Move Forward Nation of listeners, and we thank you for downloading episode number, hold on, 400. Yes, 400 podcasts. In our season two here now, we have reached 400. Each and every day we put out a podcast. We're trying to bring a little inspiration to the world each morning. Our podcasts are rolled out at 5 a.m. here, Eastern Time in the United States. And our quote for today in this episode number 400. Very exciting for us here, folks. Don't count the days. Make the days count. Coming from Muhammad Ali who in my mind is the greatest boxer of all time. Quote of the day, don't count the days, make the days count. Yes, you ever hear anybody, they're always talking about, well, I'm going to do that when I get around to it. I'm going to do that when I get around to it. Oh, I need a little bit of time and I'll get to that. As soon as I have some time, I'll get to that. Folks, quit counting the days until you have time and make the days count, which means make the time. That's part of goal setting. That's part of writing down what you need to get accomplished. That's part of breaking it into tasks and making sure you're scheduling your task each and every day. Because you're you're no longer counting the days to when you can do it. You're making the days count. Yeah, you're making the time count. Because you're doing something towards making yourself better, towards making yourself reach everything it is that you want in this world. That's focusing on what you want, which we call goals. Instead of focusing on what comes at you each and every day, instead of counting to the perfect time, when is the perfect time? There is no perfect time. The perfect time is right now. Start. Begin. Get going. When you schedule stuff, folks, you get it done. My question to you is all the time, are your thoughts moving you closer or farther away from your goals? Yes, your thoughts, folks. It's your thoughts that are holding you back. It's the mental part that's holding you back. Your mind is your biggest enemy out there. You've got to change the brain. You've got to change that biochemistry. You've got to change the self-talk. Self-talk is all them thoughts popping in your head. Remember, the researchers say you get 10,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day. And 80% of them are negative. That's the stuff popping in your head each and every day. You've got to understand how to reframe them thoughts. One, I'll tell you, quit worrying about the past. The past is over. You can't change it. Hopefully you've learned from it. You're not letting it define you. And you're learning what happened in the past and using it as the opportunity to move forward and to get better each and every day. People are out there worrying all the time about planning. Well, hey, if you're a goal setter and you've written down everything it is you want in life, you've already planned your life for the next 10 years. So what are you worried about? Why are you letting your mind get controlled by that? That's what we call mental noise here. Yeah, you're having the thoughts about the past, about planning your life. You're worried about where your life is going. You have concerns about the future. Folks, you don't have to worry about any of that anymore if you become a goal setter. That's why we need a life plan. And our goal setting process teaches you a life plan for 10 years out. And I guarantee you, as you are accomplishing the goals, your lifespan or your plan will extend beyond the 10 years because you're going to accomplish great things and you're going to have bigger and better goals. Yes. You need to change the way you see things. We tell you there's eight things that you need to do to try to change them negatives. You know them 10,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day and 80% of them are negative? We show you. We don't tell you how you can change them thoughts. One is a journal. Write down every thought that pounces into your mind. Highlight the positive ones. Reread your journals once a month, once a year, whatever it could be, because it, within them journals, them ideas, them thoughts that pounded in your mind, they may not, not have made sense today, but a year from now, they may make sense. And one of them thoughts could be your million dollar idea. You know what they call the aha moment? Yes. So journal everything, write everything down. And then I'm telling you, this is the important one reflection each night before you go to bed. You got to reflect, folks. What went good? What went bad? How do you change what went bad? And make your schedule out for tomorrow so your life is planned ahead. So you're not counting your days. 
You're making your days count because you already have a formal plan. Most people get up in the morning and have no idea what they're going to do that day. You get up in the morning and jump out of bed because you already have a plan of action. And you want to get to it because you're working towards everything it is that you want in this life. Because you were a goal setter. Because you read it down or wrote it down. You broke it into action steps, broke the action steps into task, and you scheduled tasks in that planner the night before when you were reflecting. And now you're going to get up and you're going to accomplish some of them tasks and you're going to get closer to everything it is that you want in this life. That's a goal setter. That's why you achieve. Dreamers just dream about achieving. Goal setters actually achieve. Yes, dreamers dream, but goal setters achieve. The third thing we tell you to do is you got to determine what your why is in life. It ties into number four, which is your passion. What's your why? Why are you doing what you do? you got to question yourself every day. Why do I do that in that reflection time? Why do I want to do this? Why do I want this goal? Understand what you're after. Get rid of the garbage. And then finding out your passion and making it your career is very, very important. We think it should be step one in your life. Figure out your passion. But folks, it's hard to figure out your passion. We understand that. We've got a course over there that will help you do that at inspiringthem.com. Go ahead and get it today. But it's hard to figure out your passion, and your passion may change as life goes on and you discover new and better things. That's why it's important to have them goals, because you're going to do things that you didn't think you could do. Number five is change your environment. Hey, if you're around negative thoughts, negative people, negative workplace, change your environment, folks. Negative attitude, negative uh, uh, neighborhood, change it. Change your environment. Get around the positive. Positive in equals positive out. Number six, self-improvement. Folks, you got to become a lifelong learner. you got to get out of your comfort zone. What's your passion? Learn as much as you can about it so you can make it your career, so you can be an expert at it. And number seven, change your belief system. Quit believing in all that negative crap. Quit focusing on the, pro- or focus on the process, not the results. Most people focus on the outcome, and they let the outcome determine who they are. That's the results. No, the outcome and the results are the try. They're the failure. They're the learning opportunity. They're the steps towards success. You've got to use them as that. See, it's changing the way you see things. Don't look at it as defeat. Look at it as opportunity. Look at it as getting better. And number eight, you've got to embrace this struggle, folks. Yes, you've got to be better than the... You've got to join the group. There's only 13% of the people in this world that learn from failure. That's sad you got to become one of them and understand that failure is a learning opportunity and look forward to failure instead of running from failure. Yes, remember folks, what you get scheduled, you get done. Quit counting your days and make the days count. Are you going to make your days count? I'm telling you, if you become a goal setter, each and every day will count because you're going to accomplish a task each and every day, so you're going to get a little bit closer to everything it is that you want in this world. Yes, I, we, we know we beat this goal setting every day of the week, but we're trying to establish it. We're trying to make people. We're try, so many people, even some of them set the goals and then they quit. They get off the goals. And most of them will throw away that written plan of action. I'm telling you, keep the written plan of action. Something might distract you, but if you keep the written plan of action, you can pick up where you left off and you're not starting over each and every day. Come on. This is called what we call here at Inspirational University positive psychology. We want you to be positive. We want you to focus on what you want in life, which is your goals. Dreamers dream, goal setters achieve. I'm telling you, quit counting the days to whatever it is in your crazy mind that you need to accomplish. And you or you can't accomplish because you need what? Money, uh, time. Uh, I'll do it on the weekend when I have a little bit more time. Don't put off today till tomorrow what you can get accomplished today don't count the days make the days count and the way you're going to do that is have a formal plan for your life which is goal setting dreamers dream goal setters achieve hey we're coming at you here from the studios here in the beautiful sunshine state of florida inspirational university our company helps you with positive instruction and training in business management, self-improvement, and health and wellness programs. We're asking you to join our mastermind group, become one of our business specialists today. 
Information is at inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. Join our mastermind group today, or there's a link in the show notes below. We also have a free booklet out there for you. It's called The Five P's to Success. The five P's are passion, perception, perspective, progressing, and perseverance. We show you how to use these five P's to develop that success, to develop the mental toughness, the ability to move forward under pressure. The ability to move forward under pressure. Get the free booklet. There's a link in the show notes below. Or again, you can always get that at our website, inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. There'll be a pop-up window asking you for some information. You put it in there, we send it out to you free of charge. The five P's to success. Yes, helps you develop this mental toughness. Remember, we define mental toughness as the ability to move forward under pressure. The ability to get past this mental noise. The ability to get past these negative thoughts. Yes, the ability to get past all your worries about planning, about the future, about the past. We help you develop that mental toughness so you can squash out all of that stuff and change the way you see things and look at things in a positive light. Mental toughness, the ability to move forward under pressure. Let us help you with that today. Hey, we're asking you, if you're an iTunes subscriber, to go over to your site there and leave us a a review. Them five-star reviews help us promote this podcast out to more and more people. As you know, our goal here is to bring a little inspiration to the world each morning, and we're always asking for you to pledge to our cause. We're asking you to spread our information all over your social media sites to everybody that you know so we can turn more and more people on, so we can get people to start every day with this Good Morning Minute of Inspiration podcast where we're going to discuss a quote of the day, and we're going to spread some insight on developing a positive attitude and a mental toughness to succeed in life, business, and athletics. Yes, mental toughness, the ability to move forward under pressure. We're asking you to pledge to our cause. We're asking you to pay it forward with a donation. Please help with the ongoing cost of keeping our information free your generous donation of even just a dollar a month will go a long way to keeping this positive information flowing to the world. Or if you're a business owner out there, you'd like to hear about your product on this show, go ahead and sponsor our podcast. You can do both of them over at our website, inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. On the right-hand side, there's links for everything. We appreciate it. We appreciate everything that everyone does for this show. Hey, if you ever have a question, maybe you'd like to have something discussed on the show, Maybe you got a favorite quote you'd like us to feature on the podcast. Please drop us an email, coachjrp at gmail.com. It's coachjrp at gmail.com. Or hit the link in the show notes below, and you can leave us a voice message. This is Coach P. Jim Pusateri, and my passion is to educate and inspire people to move forward towards success. How can I help you develop the mental toughness to succeed? How can I help you not count your days but to make your days count. I'm telling you, become a goal setter today and your days will count. Dreamers dream, goal setters achieve. Have yourself a great day today out there and make it count. This is Coach P and I'm out. Showtime Performance Training in conjunction with Inspirational University offers mental performance training webinars and workshops. Has your mental game limited your training and performance? Do you struggle with self-doubt and confidence? Is it a constant struggle to maintain balance between your training and other aspects of your life? Our six-part mental performance training webinar and workshops provide simple and practical strategies to help all athletes, and business people begin the process of overcoming these performance obstacles and work to gain the mental toughness needed to succeed in business, athletics, and life. Mental toughness, we define it as the ability to move forward under pressure. Sign up today for our next Mental Performance Training online webinar course 
at ShowtimeSAQ.com. That's ShowtimeSAQ.com. You can also get additional information over at Inspirational University, which is InspiringThem.com, InspiringThem.com. Yes, mental performance training, online webinars, and workshops. ShowtimeSAQ.com or InspiringThem.com. Online Strength and Fitness Training. Yes, your own personalized online strength and fitness training. Our professional trainers design a workout program to fit your needs. Yes, our personal trainer will fit your schedule, your fitness level, your equipment type, and your facilities all into your workout program, which is download. You just download our app to your phone. Workout comes with exercises and a video description of each. This can be used either in the gym or at a home workout or wherever. Your personal trainer will monitor your results and make suggestions and modifications to the workout as needed. Never worry about what you need to do for your workout again. Simply log on, follow the workout, and start getting results you can count on. You simply pick how long and often you want to commit each week to your fitness, your current fitness level, and any equipment you have access to, even if you have none, our professional trainers will create a customized workout that matches your needs. Great part about this is you can cancel it at any time. We offer team rates and classroom curriculum instruction also. Go on over to ShowtimeSAQ.com. That's ShowtimeSAQ.com for additional information. It's Showtime Performance Training, Online Strength and Fitness Training at ShowtimeSAQ.com.